G'day, my name is Shaul and I work for company Micrographics. We can be found on the web at www.mgfx.co.za. Right, so the purpose of this video tutorial is, um, is just to describe how we can create line types in Revit. Right, so as you as you know, uh, you can create uh, you, you can draw uh, detail lines just by selecting um, the available ones over here. Um, it, it can be you know hidden lines or it can be continuous lines, etc. But whatever you want to, and and how how you create these is um, you go to manage uh, additional settings, go to line styles, and within the line styles here you can go and add in a new component. However, um, you only have the ability to um, uh, to add a, a thickness and a line pattern. Now these line patterns um, it can be anything. However. Um, just looking at the line patterns, um, you only have the ability to uh, add a sequence, um, meaning uh, it's dash, long dash, short dash, is it a dot, etc. Et so there's no ability to add text. Right, so what if you want to add text? Now I have done one already. I'm going to uh, just add a, a, a detail component instead of a line. And uh, this detail component is sewer line and it's got certain. Uh, item. So if I do that, you'll see that the um, uh, you can also change the the, the wording, and uh, it'll um, it'll adjust. Apologies. Uh, just go in there and just change the wording of that particular item. Also change the amount of items. Right. Um, <coughs> okay. So uh, that's fairly easy to to place. However, let's go and add and create uh, something like that. Right now, with a normal um, detail component, you can't add text, so that's why you are need going to have to add a, a symbol uh, embedded or nested in that particular detail component. All right, so I'm going to start off with uh, creating the, the symbol, and it's simply just go new annotation symbol. Right in this uh, annotation symbol, it's going to be a generic annotation, so I'm going to go uh, generic annotations. And um, this is now a new family that I've started, and uh, I'll delete that little piece and create a label just over here. Right, as you add the label, you'll notice there's no uh, no available one, so you'll have to go and create uh, one called say letter. I'm going to uh, say instance, and this is going to be text, and it's on the place under the the text area. Right, I'll say OK, and uh, place it in the particular uh, uh, place and I'll just kind of move it in position so it looks up. Right, this particular item I'll just say save as and uh, I'll just save it on the desktop for now and uh, I'll call this lettering. Right, <coughs> okay, uh, that's saved. Now I'm going to go and open up a uh, detail uh, component. So I'll just say file new family and <coughs> the detail uh, component that I'm going to open is just a family template. It's uh, not the detail item, but the detail item line based. Right, so the difference between them is that this one is kind of more linear, where the other one is more uh, individually placed. Right, so first up, I'm going to just uh, uh, embed or insert that uh, particular item that I just created, the symbol. So I'll go to the symbol, there's none loaded. I'll say yes, please load one. Uh, I'll go to the desktop and load the lettering uh, particular item. Right, as uh, as it gets placed, <coughs> um, it isn't linked to anything locally, so that's why um, there's nothing uh, available here. However, this uh, uh, item that's come in has brought this particular element in, so I'm going to go in there and link it to a local uh, family par parameter. Now, there isn't a local one here that's similar. I'm going to create one. I'll call this uh, letter, lettering or letters. Right, um, and then I'll keep it as an instance. I'll keep it under text and I'll say OK. Right, uh, so there's lettering and I'll say OK. So this, um, <coughs> if I change this to uh, the lettering to say uh, hot water, you'll, you might see that uh, that also changes to hot water. All right, so I've set up the local parameter and it links to the symbols parameter that we've inserted. Okay, 
So it's, it's just a linking of this particular generic annotation. It had a parameter, and I'm linking it to a to a local parameter that's in my uh, project in, in the detail item, which is called letter. Right. How I map that is I select the out item, and I just use its parameter, and I map that to this local item. Right. So that's uh, um, done. Now I'll go and say create uh, reference planes. So one here and one over there. These are going to become the insets. So I'll just create some more um, param uh, uh, dimensions here. This one and this one. And uh, <coughs> this one could have a new parameter called inset. Um, and uh, it's going to be dimensions. It's also going to be in uh, instance. And this is going to be the same uh, uh, item. All right. Okay, now I will um, I'll go create uh, just a line, and uh, this detail line is going to be maybe medium line, so from here to here. Okay, and this guy uh, I now want to just uh, position correctly, so from here to here I'll lock those, and maybe from here to here I'll lock those. Right, so this one's locked in position, um, so if I change the inset, uh, it'll move with these. Right, however, I'm going to take this guy and just array it. Uh, maybe have three items, and I'll say last, and I will say right from here to here. Right, so there's the three items. However, this last item, I just want to also just kind of um, uh, align to this particular inset and lock that scenario. Right, I'll also uh, just use the... Um, uh, um, lock them in position like that maybe it's over constrained so that's fine all right um okay so that's uh, particularly uh, that, that's what i want um so let's see if there is anything that i need to still do i think uh, that should be fine if i do change the insets all the length here maybe two meters apply that i, I have that's uh, great I, I see what uh, what i've missed and um, perhaps i want to add uh, say not three items but four or five or six so I just basically select the, the array a little item and I add a label for that as well I'll call this a uh, number and uh, it can go under maybe dimensions as well uh, where's the dimensions there we go and uh, it'll also be instance and uh, so okay all right so now let's check if I now go and change that number to say five items you will see there is more elements uh, Available there. Right, so I'm happy with this. So let's load this into the project. Uh, I haven't saved it, so let's save it first. I'll say file save as, and I'll save it as a pre um, okay, uh, line based. Yeah, let's just use line based. I'll save that, load it into the project, and uh, it's project one. <coughs> All right, uh, don't know if to save that. Right, so it's now the line based uh, item that I'm going to draw, and I'll draw it from here to here. Um, so I've got also the same name, but uh, we can just change it down to uh, Sula. And uh, oh, I have to select it first, and then go and change that to a different, maybe called water. And uh, there we go. <coughs> and maybe just change the number to three, and maybe the inset on the edges, maybe make that. 50. Right, so uh, so that's how we would create a line-based uh, family with some text in, um, and uh, so it's it's basically a symbol that you create, and that symbol you nest into a, a detail component, linking the parameters together that uh, was f uh, found in the in the generic uh, symbol to the detail component, and once that's now matched, uh, you just Add one or one or two uh, uh, other parameters to make sure that your um, line-based item works well with regards to the insets and the um, and the uh, array number. Right. So thank you for watching. I uh, hope you learned something, and uh, see you on the next one.